So I'm going to try this tech 6 file of uh, Protostar Let's like uh, quickly SSH into this one Okay, key verification failed It means uh, I have to like pre-login again So let's remove the original previous key And then uh, try to login with SSH again And uh, it's asking for the fingerprint And say yes, bypass that And here, yeah, user is the password And I'm going to upgrade my shell uh, bash and then uh, let's quickly go to this opt protostar bin file in forward actions okay we are here so we are going to try the six six file of stack uh, okay let's quickly try running this one and see what happens okay it's asking for a path so let's like uh, quickly get a python or and, uh, okay, so we are getting Python here, and then uh, we can like for this path. Uh, I need to like let's say print a number of a letters into 64. So I will be printing 64a with this. So I'm going to copy this one and uh, paste this one and it saves me the trouble of typing all that. Okay, so it's a uh, the buffer upload earlier than I expected. So it's like uh, this is a uh, like maybe 60. Let's try with 60 to 53. So anyway, uh, this is the portion that we are going to inject our shell into and then uh, let's try that one. Before that, uh, let's try it running stack 6 again and uh, like 63 years. Okay, we got the path. Yeah, so it uh, uploads, buffer uploads at 63. Okay, so let's like uh, quickly get the object dump of this and uh, see what are the function headers and uh, see what we can do stack 6 and also let's use less so uh, it will use uh, we can see only the necessary information here okay we are getting some info over here so like let's propose it out okay we are getting some function and all that We are getting the function stack 6 is starting now here, so we can start. Uh, okay, the main function is here, and then uh, there's a get path function. Okay, so the only sensible function we can see is a uh, get path here. So let's like uh, take a quick uh, grab of get path and see. So we are going to okay. So let's quickly take another terminal horizontally and uh, increase the font size. Okay, so I'm going to get a quick file out of this stack six, and uh, so let's quickly paste this one for further future reference so this is the memory address of this get path function so let's quickly run a gdb okay maybe we have some uh, other parts as well in this file so let's like quickly run strings before we are going to try this uh, strings of stack 6 uh, before we are going to try uh, GDB on this one, so it gets a path, and the path is a string, and it is a T something, and it's a pointer towards some function. So I think uh, maybe let's try this as well. So big dump of this BJ. I don't think this will work, but um, okay, it doesn't work like that anyway. So so I think this is that uh, gets function here. We have this gets uh, that's where it, uh, it is directed at. So let's try getting that as well. Yeah. 
we are getting something uh, so it's i think uh, this is actually this should be located in the end of the spec and yeah that should probably at the end of the stack so anyway let's try gdb and uh, go to quiet mode and see stack seven seven six stack six and okay so we are going to disassemble main and see first okay so as expected uh, there's a pop here and uh, pop is what we call uh, by who oh, so this is the get path function and the function main so address is here okay so uh, let's quickly disassemble this one as well so disassemble get path okay we are getting some values okay so all you can see that uh, some values get path is here so i am looking for the specific function gets okay and also i will need this one the return value because uh, we are going to uh, return to text uh, value so that's uh, the library we are going uh, going to attack today so anyway so uh, do we have gates i can't find the gates ah yeah we do have that one let's copy this quickly and uh, so this is i'm just copying this thing just for reference actually so let's quickly take uh, like uh, let's set the disassembly flavor as well to intel so these values that we are seeing here will uh, make more sense so anyway uh, i'm going to break again at uh, so let's put a break at get path function and before that uh, this uh, function has to end right so before this uh, ending process uh, i think i have to put a break point so let's break this one at here first break before return okay so this uh, return is here so we are breaking here and we are going to set another breakpoint at get path okay we have two breakpoints now uh, so let's quickly see what are the info we can get on these uh, process maps so, uh, okay no current process that is not main Okay, maybe let's run this and see and see information on the process map yeah we can see like that so uh, these are the normal general values and uh, okay so i rerun that one and again so this will be more clear okay so information process map process number and all that and uh, we have stack file so the stack ends here so meaning the values are here so as i mentioned earlier the gets live because it has to end over somewhere here right so this here so stack ends over here actually not okay so the stack not ends actually the stack is here anyway uh, that doesn't matter right Anyway, the stack is here. So anyway, and uh, we can see that uh, since this uh, is ending as well, so in actually not the stack is ending, the file is ending, the process is ending here. So the stack is also located at the end of the process. So anyway, so that means uh, we can't uh, do anything on on this uh, stack, but uh, we can like uh, manipulate these values, like. Uh, these values are the things that are like 804 9000 so these values we can uh, like manipulate so we can uh, actually not man actually while uh, what i mean by manipulating is like we can uh, point the uh, return point of instruction address of this uh, 
return point so we have the return point okay we have to go up and uh, see the, the, this return point so we can uh, point that towards that memory address and see like uh, we can uh, let's see if we can uh, like bypass this uh, return point uh, and see okay so I'm going to end this one and then like let's SSH into our okay master and we, we have read the shell to bash and uh, see into how pt bin sorry proto star bin and uh, we can see that okay so we are going to quickly go to the since I'm on this folder in the, this terminal, I'm going to go to home folder of this one and create a file uh, called as maybe call this shell of Python. Okay, and uh, let's quickly like import a structure and uh, let's put a Adding on this one, like uh, let's say so this padding means uh, the letters that we are going to get towards this. So I will have to get another terminal quickly and uh, let's say Python. And uh, I need to print some values for this one. Okay, so what I basically need to do now is like uh, get letters printed like A. So we will need four A's. So I'm going to simply multiply this one and uh, plus. So this, so this is not quite hmm. okay. I can do this like this as well, right? So padding is equal to this value. Okay, now we can manipulate anything like this. So anyway, so I'm going to like this saves me the trouble of a. Uh, type in them one by one and counting and then also uh, it will eliminate any risks of uh, like typing less or more character in this case so anyway so in the four okay i'm going to quickly copy this one and paste these values so let's quickly edit these things this will be b and this will be e and this is going to be F okay, I'm going to copy this again okay, pardon the clumsiness that's it okay. copying this one it works like that right okay so f and so be g h i go ahead okay this will be four and uh, f and this will be i Okay, it's taking too much time actually. Anyway, uh, I'm going to like. Okay, let's edit this one quickly. J and uh, King. So I'm like basically trying to uh, 
what I'm why I'm doing this is uh, I'm going to pass this value into that uh, get path actually so get path gets function is uh, actually requesting uh, a string so this a string uh, is also at a length of 64 bytes I think so we are simply going to overflow that one and uh, it could be like okay so let's l and a will be m okay i think this will be enough and, and uh, if it's not let's click click okay okay i had a few here and uh, eip would be like uh, i'm going to pass another value to this so this eip value so what i'm going to do now is uh, i'm going to take a value out of this value so I think I got this. Yeah. So we have this return function here. So I'm going to pass this return function. So this uh, I'm going to get. I can also type this as in uh, this little engine form. So I'll do that as well. So let's like quickly see. Uh, let's say uh, x and uh, f9. And uh, 84, and also we can use like x04 and another x of uh, x and 08. So, this is the value of uh, return function. So, I'm going to pass this into parentheses. This is actually not necessary, but now let's like do that as well. So this should point at the EIP and uh, I'm going to also pass another value to this one called uh, this EIP would get another value that will be uh, okay let's go up and see the function Okay, quickly reading this thing to see what is this value. Okay. So, to get this uh, other value that we need, uh, we have to get the system function, get into the system function. So, to get the section, system function that we are going to refer here. So we have to manipulate uh, this uh, write C uh, to give us this value. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to like try to like set a breakpoint at system because uh, this uh, file is already running and see yeah, we can see we can we got a file address actually so so this is key. Okay, so we set a breakpoint at system. So what basically happens here is uh, let me explain that one as well. So let's quickly SSS onto this one again and say this. Uh, okay, I think I set SSS. So use the uh, bash. So. What we are going to do is, uh, let's say we have is a, uh, let's create, so what I am going to get this that uh, like SO function here, so, so this is actually directed at the system, so what we need is uh, this file bin slash sh. So this is a uh, responsible for giving us the root actually so let's like say script and uh, .c so script.c file and uh, I'm going to like include this is going to be a standard uh, steam 
so given this number function header and uh, void and main okay i will explain after typing uh, so yeah so we need this system and uh, this system will call out to this bin slash sh file so this is supposed to give us root shell so let's quick Okay, so let's write GCC this one and uh, let's write the script it was right. Okay, we will get it at 10 file, I think. Okay, I think I did not save that one. I didn't save that term, so maybe let's like type this again. So I have probably ended the terminal that was going so I'm going to GCC to this and uh, see quick file dot C will be saved as let's say quick and this current directory okay yeah yes the syntax error here. and do it again now search file to lg done okay system being slash so i have you not given this one now and library dot h so wait and system slash sh let's see if we get this one yeah okay we get this now so anyway uh so what we are going to do now is run this one and see script we did not find the that sh okay so basically it has to give us the uh, root shell anyway so uh, yeah. it's like uh, maybe let's try this as a so since it's giving going to give us root shell, let's like try to run this with uh, script. We run it again. Okay. Again, I talk on script should be then file. Starting mode and breakpoint two has been triggered. Continue and see the bug behavior. Okay, I'm like continuing and the container call is not getting getting anywhere. So we will have to move here on this bit part. Okay, the program no longer exists. So what I just did was totally down there. So let's like quickly Oh 
how can we show this file has to do something actually so let's like let's see i'm going to like i need this uh, memory address of system so anyway let's like uh, let's run this script on ddv as well and see okay so let's quickly set the disassembly flavor to enter and let's disassemble the name of the function okay we are getting some so even if that doesn't work and maybe so we are getting pointed at some value so this is where the system is at so this is, this is the value for system so in so this system function is we are what we are need so in order to get road from this uh, stack 6 file as well so we need this set so let's put a quick breakpoint at this system function first so why i'm doing this part is uh, return to like this uh, this is written have to give us a shell so it's like uh, because this uh, like this see here we have it's like see it's a huge function it's, it's a huge uh, library full of functions so among that is uh, like a system function also so if you can like uh, get this system file to function to execute this bin slash bash file so we can uh, like simply see how this uh, system function works and how it uh, return to library exploit is going to work so anyway what we are going to do now is uh, let's quickly run, like, run this one and see Okay, we trigger the breakpoint at this value and uh, I'm going to like you know let's set 8 so I'm going to pass a uh, 8 register uh, value so integers into it so and then, and then uh, actually pass it to the ESP registry Okay, so we have some values over here, and uh, yes, yeah, the stack has to end and all that. So anyway, so let's see the strings of this next instruction. Yeah, so this is system DLT, what we saw earlier. So it is uh, let's like quickly take this down and say. So let's uh, like uh, run the scripts of ESP. And see, so we jumped into the next uh, function. So, so the next function of system at PLT. So, and this value, you can see that the values are changed now, and uh, meaning that we have moved into the next. Point. So, at this point that we can see that the uh, return point of the system, the return point of the system has uh, pointed towards this function. So, this is where it's stored. And, uh, so, actually, and that is also followed by this uh, for a book. So, these are the memory addresses that are closely related to this one. So let's like quickly paste them as well. And then like me and break this up a bit. Like it's clear now. So this 
and this is uh, where this uh, what we passed into that builder slash sh would like so anyway let's like uh, what this is and uh, like this we are going to get this value and uh, see what we have here yeah so this is where this uh, this slash sh is uh, located at so if we can do the same thing to our file as well as that file so if we can uh, get this tag uh, manipulate flat like that so we can simply uh, get the shell out of that as well so that's in theory guys so anyway so we have to like uh, get the okay let's like uh, put this theory to test and see okay so let's run the file okay we are getting into the breakpoint too and let's like see your system Okay, we are getting somewhere with this live C system no debugging. So let's copy this and paste this over here and we are getting a value here B0. Okay. So we can find this address uh, in this uh, bin slash SH as well and quickly find this file uh, so since this is uh, directed, directed into system uh, I think it would be which efficient meaning uh, that doesn't actually this might be the reason uh, because whenever you open a file in a GTB the stack it will change it by some few hundreds uh, so let's quickly find it here so I don't think we find it here either okay nothing good so anyway uh, the reason for it might be like let's quickly get to info of process map okay, we are getting this process map now and okay, let's quickly drag this down so this is like keep it here and uh, information on the process map of this uh, stack six file so We have some values and the stack keys here and all that. And uh, if we can like uh, see if it is directed at that value, the value that is uh, here. So we, so this is where this uh, library is starting at. So we can find it. Uh, so let's like quickly find it as well and you will understand. Find that. Uh, so I am like uh, testing if this uh, system function is being directed by this uh, stack file uh, at this memory address. So I'm going to find this and. So it should be somewhere between these values, right? So we need the information. Six hundred thousand. So like this. Okay. Wait.
yeah so actually this uh function so this uh this is where this is where it actually start but uh, we have to get this value or oh, these values both are the same but anyway so i am going to like quickly change this into seven thousand okay and this uh bin, bin library is ending at nine thousand here so we are going to paste that one as well and see if we can find the words bin slash sh anywhere inside this one okay mm, that we do not have that one so let's quickly continue and see at breakpoint one and like uh, get the information of the process map and see if we can find it no all right so actually we have to like get this one as well okay we are getting down so we have this value. I'm going to copy this one. This is where this uh, bin slash sh inside uh, this stack six is uh, directed and stored. There. So anyway, we are getting that value. Copy it over here. And uh, let's see try the offset of this one maybe. So okay. So this is where it is at. Finding generate entry in it. Okay. So we have this here, and uh, we can use this value actually. So we can, like, uh, you know. So let's like uh, disassemble this term if it's possible. Yeah. So it's possible to do that. Right. So what we can see here is this is the system of live C and all that. Since it's pointed there, we can see all these values. So Okay, so since uh, we have all this information, uh, we just need this offset of this value as well. So in order to proceed, uh, we are going to drag this thing up a bit. And, uh, okay, so actually uh, we are going to point at this value. So this is where the system lives and uh, return function of system n. So anyway, I am going to like copy this. For the time being as well and uh, let's quit this one and uh, let's see what are the string string of q and yeah, the x of uh, this uh, so this is the one that i want so this is just like c21 is oh of the five Okay, so I'm going to get a quick grip from uh, in slash SS. Let's see again. Okay, I got quite a lot of value here. Okay, all the paths and all the variable information is presented at us in a goal. Letter. Okay, you now the problem is to find the required one for this. Maybe I like. Uh, yeah, that happened because I did not fight this command properly. Yeah. So, 
what I am going basically seeing here is the offset of this value here so I'm going to paste it over here and like drag build the terminal a bit downwards and uh, we are here again so we just need to run this and point this towards the front so let's get to the doing this something like that so what we need here so okay i will take a lot of time to get the middle and the end values manually so i'm going to use this simple function present in a python and uh, this value that we like uh, copied earlier from system so this text variable from system we have this here so we are going to get this one and I'm going to paste it over here. Okay. So I'm going to point that as well, and then uh, so this will be like uh, there are this uh, system function will be called. So this is the where the system function is actually at. So the, we are going to point that towards that one, and then uh, let's like return here. So this return will be like a uh, pass like four A's into this one just for no reason. Okay. So then uh, we also need this uh, bin slash. So bin slash is uh, like method is that uh, let's quickly set a struct. Okay, I'm getting this. Oh, no, get it. Okay, so struct uh, like dot act and uh, I'm going to pass i into it and then uh, the value. So, what I need to pass here is. I'll have like uh, take a quick um, what you say a calculation. So let's like GDB and I'm quick with GDB and uh, I want to add these two values. So go up and see where this like this is starting at it's here. Okay, so I'm going to get this with. So we need the CU as well. Okay, that doesn't look like that. Okay, that was utterly stupid. Uh, anyway, I can like uh, simply put this into another variable maybe. And uh, I don't know if it will work. Uh, anyway, let's like uh, set the variable and uh, Let's see. So the value set you need here is this value right here. And it has to be added with the value here. Okay, zero. So and I'm going to pass Maybe we can. Okay, it has to work in theory, but uh, let's see if it works. So, so basically, the addition of these two values will be formatted to little Indian form. 
inside this variable okay anyway so i'm going to print the value Okay, I'm going to like quickly drag this. I can't see anything here. So, padding here should be something. Padding here. Padding with, uh, I'm going to get EIP. Yeah, just these are the three parent values. Anyway, we are going to call system here. So, and uh, return. In the system will be replaced with this one and like uh, to be written and uh, I'm going to also add this x sh one so let's quickly save this one change the python see now uh, like quickly stop this one and see we our exploit works so let's see if it like ah, okay before that we have to make this uh, uh, executable but uh, I'll try with the python file first as well so anyway uh, let's see I can't remember the name. Okay, shell the file. Shell the file. Yes. Okay, so shell the file. And I'm going to use cat here. And we'll pipe it into stack. If we go back. Here to go to opt dot star bin and uh, okay, I have to type that again. Okay, so Python. Okay, I have to do the path now, right? Home use links current directory and it's uh, like let's shell the Python. And send into cat pipe and it is on this file stack 6. Okay, we have something here. Let's like say ID. Okay, it crashes. I expect. Okay, so thing is. Is I think uh, this uh, this is where I got it wrong actually. So let's like uh, maybe quickly go to this value and see. Uh, okay. So in addition, while I am going to add this to, I am going to get the value as so I Google it and. Uh, So it is this, and uh, I like struct dot pack, struct dot pack. Yeah, okay. So let's quickly try this as well. Okay, I have to save this one. Save stack six and ID. Okay, I'm crashing again for no possible reason. Yeah, I think uh, I'm not uh, allocating enough from like you know at the padding part. So we yeah, have like oh here yeah, I'm going to quickly finish this one. So oh P Q S T U I think this will be enough. And uh, save this one. And see. Okay. Let's see the ID. Yeah, 
getting a segmentation for it. Meaning that we are getting some averages and uh, So why not run this one inside this GTG as well and see. So let's run this edit. Okay, we need to make this uh, shell of Python into a binary executable. So I'm going to convert this into shell SA. Okay, we have a shell now, so let's type. Okay. Yes, yeah. now we have to give the WhatsApp path right. So it will be home user and shell. Okay, trigger in the back point and let's see. Okay, and another back point over here. Continue and uh, we have successfully received a CSV view and uh, as the segmentation world. Okay, these are information that might come in handy. Okay, the program ended and uh, We might need something else as well. So maybe we should like uh, get a new padding to this one and see what happens. Padding equals just like print 100 things so it will create more space and also maybe uh, let's like find the exit one as well here so let's to figure out this up terminal and see okay okay i own this uh, Processor, exit processor. Okay, so we have this value here. Yes. I'm going to copy this and paste it as well. Okay. So I, this is where this uh, exit is at. So, uh, sorry for and all that. Let's see another variable exit and dot tap of this one with i and pass it here okay i can't click it there right so anyway then uh, what we need now is we are passing the padding and then we are passing the ip or the system starts and then we are going to pass uh, this exit on exit mode as well and then uh, we are going to get the value of this okay like uh, let's remove, remove this for a while and see and then uh, search as in this uh, addition of these two values okay, so we might need another terminal horizontal one and then okay, just close like that okay so let's if we can like find the python one here okay i have to connect that right and use the Dash to upgrade the shell and uh, okay we have this stack here okay in the system exception pro 
because there will be no view this part. Oh, okay. Because uh, we do not have the file here yet. So we have like we can go there and then run this one. Okay, let's use the ID and another second agent and forward. Okay, why does this have to be so hard? Okay, and let's see. Let's maybe pass this value as for one C. like that it has to be like this okay let's like uh, reduce the padding and see what I want to write 80 yes okay the ID please okay, it's not working like that So, what? So, anyway, uh, just for my understanding, I'm going to make some changes in this one. So, let's actually create a new variable called uh, so this is where it like this it is starting at so I'm going to name this as like C okay and then uh, this is where the string or the padding that we are going to pass is going to start so starts and uh, I'm going to create a new variable and let's like uh, I am going to create it as variable and uh, I'm going to like like C with string L so basically the addition of these two will be passed here and uh, so this is the system starts I'm going to like just for reference values like a system is here and the out and uh, this it is here C naught and uh, nothing here okay this SS is here so we can like uh, we like uh, remove this whole part and uh, settings up there and so it's like starting incremental payload payload will be equal to padding as a point first so at the end of the padding and uh, it's like copy this value I have don't want to so Padding and uh, struct dot pack this value okay I don't have the struct dot pack again so this payload will be the first one actually Okay. 
Second part would be exit and then the third part would go to this variable we are having the addition of these two and I would like to try to print the payload. String alone objects. Okay, we got the part. <laughs> it's a lot of tail in it. Okay, I'll fix the board first, it seems. Okay, so like uh, instead of calling these variables, we need to use payload. Just like uh, so, in this field, we have this and uh, we got this exit here. Let's take it over here and see. Okay, now we go. Then, uh, like, let's get the system. and see so we have the setting and all that uh, return part is not necessary for the time being and then uh, like see string okay so this will will stay there so all in all uh, like uh, we wouldn't need this anymore. Like, fill this one just to get the code proper and uh, we don't think this is worth the waste, but uh, I'm going to remove that part as well. So, it's adding here and uh, yeah, the right C. And uh, street value of this thing, and uh, this one, and stop the right track. So I can like uh, so it's like uh, also I will have to. This, uh, the addition of this uh, C location and then the string location. I'll have to pass them as well in case of Indian. So let's see the variable. Okay, let's like quickly turn this one out and see. If this one works, okay, so like let's say share the Python. That's what you are going to use, and I believe we are getting somewhere with this. Okay, finally. So, one more. And shoot. Okay, that, that's it. And uh, so, basically, that's how it's done. So, what really happened was like uh, 
this value values have to like uh, this have to be like uh, this is zero value so this uh, this was the place that we send these values and these are the some places that we like uh, send our shell code so anyway uh, that's how you do it and uh, that's tactics <laughs>